Hello everyone, welcome to another fun-filled episode of What's Cool and What's Not Cool. I'm your host and gamer, Cullen, better known as Big (laughs) Seaman. We're going to have fun, let's rock. In the old days, we all remembered a video game company called HAL Laboratory Inc. Basically, this company, HAL Laboratory Inc., debuted somewhere in the 1980s where it had like really awesome and weird games that include Pokemon and Kirby. Whoever created it is amazing. Today's episode is about HAL Laboratory Games. Ooh. The rule is I'll discuss a bunch of games that are featured on HAL Laboratory. I don't know if I'll do much for much Pokemon or ones I don't really remember like low low low. Anyway, let's check out the game styles of HAL Laboratory Games. First up, be Kirby's Dream Land. That is a cool HAL Laboratory game. <laughs> when I played this, I was like uh, nine years old when I tried Kirby's Dream Land. Um, that was actually the first cover where Kirby was white in the game. In like later Kirby games, um, he's pink everywhere. It's kind of funny though. What's awesome is you can kick ass in this game. Just look out for King DDD. It's a good one. Kirby's Adventure. That is a cool Kirby game. Yep. <laughs> Well, remember Kirby's Adventure, it was actually the first Kirby game that was in color. And the intro was like, you draw a circle, add the eyes, and then a smile, and then it's Kirby. <laughs> What's funny is, like, you know, the mini games were really awesome. What also is not only King Dedede's in the game, but Metsonite debuts in this game. He's a badass. This game is pretty good here. Pokemon Stadium. That is a cool HAL Laboratory game. <laughs> When I first played it, I heard, like, the intro looked pretty amazing, actually. It's where you actually use two Pokeballs and then pop out Pokemon. The sequel, Pokemon Stadium 2, is not that bad. It's kind of like the first one, except it feels like both games are pretty heroic. We have another battle in this Pokemon game! This and this and that! (laughs) I don't know, it's it's a weird game, but it's alright. This is a good one. Kirby's Return to Dreamlands. That was a cool HAL Laboratory game. When I played it on the Nintendo Wii, I heard like it looked amazing to have four players in the game. Kirby's Return to Dreamland reminded me of uh, Kirby's Adventure meeting Kirby Superstar in that element. Hearing the music, it sounds dramatic. It's like, let's fight! I just thought like the whole gameplay looked amazing and it felt very tricky than other Kirby games. But we love them. It can never be a HAL laboratory game without my favorite, Super Smash Brothers, the original. Yes, that is a cool HAL laboratory game. <laughs> when I first played that game, I was 15 years old when I tried it. Like, the jumps were pretty amazing, and it was even awesomer before GameCube and Wii took over for more Smash Brothers. It was a good four player action game to play it. I'm excited for another one as well coming up probably in 2013. So yeah, Super Smash Brothers is one of the most kick-ass games anybody has ever played. And I loved it. Kirby Star Stacker. Sorry to say that is not a cool HAL Laboratory game. This game isn't that crappy. What sucks in the game, it can be completely hard to battle King DDD. And you have Kirby's friends Rick, Kine, and Koo. They're kind of funny though. It's like Wonderland. I don't know why, it just didn't feel like a, much of a Kirby game. It just didn't feel great. Well, I know a lot of Kirby action people are going to hate me. Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Uh, sorry to say, it's not a cool HAL Laboratory game. You know what sucks in the game? You don't see King DDD anywhere. This is the only game DDD is not in. What's pretty damn embarrassing is like, you get to fight a lot of awesome characters. You have four Kirby's to battle some evil monster or something like that. 
I know Metsonite is a badass in Kirby games. You didn't include DDD. And he's funny. <laughs> oh my god. Rollerball. Uh, that is not a cool HAL Laboratory game. It sucks! I heard about this game like... It's a pinball machine that isn't that horrible, but it's embarrassing when you play the game. It feels like you're hearing Ghostbusters inspired background music. You know, da, 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 da. It sounds like the first Ghostbusters theme. It's like, for God's sakes, it's a HAL Laboratory game for a pinball machine or something. I don't know. Daydream and Davey. Nope. That is not a cool. HAL Laboratory game. This game is about a little boy that daydreams and like goes to sleep, which I heard games like that do suck because I would never play Daydream and Davey. Music's actually not too bad, but like the gameplay kind of sucks. Oh, wait, he didn't have a sword, he had a ruler. That's why the game is a daydream game. Hey, this is called Daydream and Davey, and that sucks that it's a crappy game. Oh, look at this. I have to do this again. Pokemon Snap. Oh, that is not a cool HAL Laboratory game. This game stinks. The Dreaded Stinks! <laughs> I remember discussing this game a couple years ago as an N64 game, and it wasn't great. All the game does, you take pictures of Pokemon. Photographers do take pictures, like they're the paparazzi and stuff. And I know Professor Oak was like, Welcome back, and great! He actually said wait, but great would be funnier. How the crap would they figure stuff out just playing it? The game is technically easy to catch all Pokemon in film. That's why I think Pokemon Snap is a disappointment to HAL Laboratory games. Whew. All right. So what have we learned about this episode? How laboratory games I like are cool. How laboratory games I don't like are not cool. I like to thank the Angry Video Game Nerd. I like to thank Look at Me One Two Three, Wood Creek Faction, Nostalgia Critic, Katie's Opinion, Smosh, and everybody who is watching this "What's Cool and What's Not Cool" episode. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Now I need to get a haircut. Good night.